Hi everyone, welcome to Must Read Monday. My name is Dabney. I'm the Young Adult Librarian with the Twin Lakes Libraries and I use they, them pronouns. So I know it's the end of April and I'm sorry I didn't do this video sooner. I don't know what happened. April was very busy, extremely busy, <laughs> um, which is why there's only been like one craft video, and one book talking video, but you know what? We are still going to be celebrating Autism Acceptance Month or Autism Awareness Month. And you can read these books now and all year. So we're going to get started with some nonfiction. And all these nonfiction books are at the Hancock branch where I'm at, sitting in front of the nonfiction section. Um, first up, we have My Brain is Different, Stories of ADHD and Other Developmental Disorders. So some of the other ones they talk about um, are learning disorders and autism. So I really like this because you've got multiple um, different stories from people, um, kind of from all ages and walks of society sharing their experiences with us. So I think it's really good. And it's a manga, so it's like an easy read um, and it's short. Then we have Calling All Minds, How to Think and Create Like an Inventor by Temple Grandin, who is like one of the most famous people with autism. So if you're interested in reading something from her, um, specifically talking about inventions and inventors, definitely check it out. By the way, this is an accelerated reader book. If you're browsing our shelves and you see this red dot, that means it's in the accelerated reader database. You open the cover, you will find the Lexile level, AR book level, AR points, and the quiz number. Just throwing that out there for everybody who is in school and doing AR. I was definitely um, an AR overachiever. <laughs> and then we have Queerly Autistic, the ultimate guide for LGBTQIA plus teens on the spectrum. So those are our nonfiction books. Now getting into some fiction. I'm going to focus on first the books I've actually read, and then we'll talk about the ones I haven't read, but I want to. And my computer just got unplugged. Saved. Okay. So, highly recommend um, Andrew Joseph White's books, Hell Followed With Us, The Spirit Bears Its Teeth, um, featuring characters with autism. Um, they are both horror. This one is kind of like post-apocalyptic horror, body horror. As you can see, the main character is in the process of becoming like some monstrous <laughs> creature. And wow, it is, um, it is very good. There's cults who like want to end the world. Um, and of like, I think they unleash like a virus or something on humanity and it's has horrible repercussions uh but yeah it's really good like I don't really tend to be much of a horror person but you know what I love these books I especially loved The Spirit Bears Its Teeth um the main this is like horror and it's like historical and ghost um <laughs> ghosts exist and can communicate with like mediums and yeah the main character is trans and he gets sent to like an asylum um, where he's it's kind of almost like conversion therapy but also like real bad stuff is happening there um, on top of that yeah it's, it's um it's intense um but very good also i love this cover it's very shimmery okay Lark and Kasim start a revolution. Um, this one honestly was a bit stressful for me to read because um, the main character is kind of dealing with um, being like bullied and kind of canceled for their like online um, account. Like I think it's, yeah, their Twitter account. And it's just like, it was kind of tough for me to read because whenever I read, read stuff about bullying, I get like really worked up. But it is really good. So it's kind of about friendship and telling the truth and coming clean about when you've lied. 
facing repercussions, um, friendship, that sort of thing. Okay, Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare, enormous book. Um, this is book two of the Dark Artifices series, which I really liked. Um, and one of the characters in this has autism, and so you do get some of his chapters. Um, and I believe, yeah, this is the first series where he's introduced. Um, and I think he has like his own series that's going to be coming out. So get excited for it. Um, I do feel like you don't have to read the other Shadow Hunters books to read the Dark Artifices, but it would probably help. <laughs> Um, ooh, one of my favorite books, Pet. Um, this is like a, a kind of futuristic fantasy, like magical realism. Um, the main character has autism and ends up summoning an angel through um, a painting, I think. And the angel is there to put right a wrong that has been committed in sort of this utopia-like community that um, the people no longer know how to see this type of behavior that's very um, harmful. They don't know how to see it or deal with it. And the angel is like helping the main character with that. So, um, the many half-lived lives of Sam Sylvester. This has also got like a fantasy element to it with ghosts and hauntings, um, a murder mystery. It was very good. Um, the main character, I believe, does have autism. And yeah, there's was, was a lot happening in this, but definitely check it out. Um... I didn't finish this one, but I did start it. Uh, Made the best man win. And let's see. I think the love interest has autism. Um, and yeah, so this one is kind of like, I think it's like exes who, yeah, the main couple they used to be dating and then the one character comes out as trans and so I think they end up breaking up and now they're in like this popularity contest um and it's very intense I was like there's so much drama happening in this um so yes okay moving on we have um some more contemporary high school, Daniel Deconstructed. I really want to read this one. So the main character um, has autism, and he is um, becomes friends with like two really popular kids, like one who's non-binary, and thinks like, oh, they're not interested in me, but the two of them should get together. But actually. Um, that's not what happens. So it said, but the matchmaking means stepping into the mystifying and illogical world of love, dating, and relationships where nothing is as it seems and no one knows their lines. Um, and when Daniel himself finds himself playing a starring role in this romance, he'll question everything he thought he knew about himself and his place in the world. Love it. And I'm running out of time. Okay, so I'm just going to show you these books. So we have the Louise Ortega Survival Club. This is at the Hancock branch. Tilly and Technicolor at the Hancock branch. This is also um, a recent award-winning book. The Secret Life of Kitty Granger. Um, okay, this is, I, I figured, I was like, this seems like a thriller. It is um, Russian Spy Ring, London, 1967. All right. I'm... I'm very into that. <laughs> and then we have a fantasy, Unsealy, Twin Sisters, Different as Night and Day, both on the run. So those are my books for you all. I will have notes on like where you can find them on Hoopla or Libby. Um, and this is not like the be all end all list. Um, there were some books that were checked out. So I will also like include those as well. All right, talk to you next time. Bye.